As I've said before, I watch videos from those that I disagree with. I watch them regularly. And some of my favorite YouTubers are ones that I disagree with. For instance, uh, Sticks Hex and Hammer 666. You know, I watch his videos regularly, even though I disagree with his positions most of the time. There's a video from Steve Shives that I was watching and he was talking about the MythCon, how, you know, they allowed people to be there that have proven to be pretty shitty people. I'm sorry, and I don't care how much you dislike the fact that I can't stand Sargon of Akkad, um, he's proven to be a misogynist. I'm sorry. You, you, it's like trying to, it's like someone trying to say that Rush Limbaugh isn't a misogynist. Well, he doesn't specifically say things against women specifically. Oh, that's nice. So all the backhanded comments that are said on a regular basis don't mean anything, right? You know, people make it sound like, oh, I wouldn't even rape you. Isn't a big deal. It, it kind of is. That is kind of a big deal. Uh, Sargon saying things like abortion rights is aren't a big thing. Well, you can just go through with the pregnancy. And if you if you want proof of that, because I've, I've given this proof before, I'll leave a link to my video where I show that he's just saying those kinds of things blatantly. He, 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 I'm sorry, if, if Sargon isn't misogynistic, then you obviously don't know what misogynistic is. What would you judge as being misogynistic? Or do you think that's really a very, very, very rare few people that are misogynistic? You know, Sargon is a, I'm sorry, Sargon's a pile of garbage as far as I'm concerned. He's a pile of garbage. I have no respect for him whatsoever. If there was a if if there was the opportunity to debate with him, I would turn it down. I just would rather not deal with someone like that. He is the embodiment of the same kind of mindset that was responsible for the bullying that I received through elementary school, that I had to switch school districts. By the time I got out of elementary school, I switched districts to go to a you know, a completely different set of schools. Uh, for middle school and high school because I got picked on so badly. Now, some of my being picked on, some of it was my fault because of the way that I responded. Sure, I won't, I won't deny that at all. The kind of mindset that's responsible for that kind of bullying is not something to hold up on a pedestal, is not something to look at positively, is not something that belongs in a conference that's supposed to be about being skeptical and trying to show what's fucked up about religion. I mean, when's the last time Sargon made a video against religious people? I'll be waiting, right? He doesn't he doesn't say anything negative about r religious people. He doesn't say anything negative about the right wing. All he does, all the only way that he's skeptical is skeptical of the left. That's all he fucking does. And I'm sure you can find maybe one out of every 50 videos that he makes that he might make a little snide comment, something against the right. But otherwise, all he does is critique the left. It's, it's sickening. And then he calls himself a left winger. It's like, look, I get that those who are of a particular political persuasion, even though he's, he's a classical liberal, which is really a right wing kind of position, but... I understand that someone who is from a certain side will know more about that side, but Sargon isn't even on that side. He's not on that side, and so when all he does is critique that side, I, I mean, Sargon's political views subtract the personality, but if, his, if we're just going by his political views, Sargon's political views are kind of like Ronald Reagan. You know, MythCon wasn't supposed to be about uh, critiquing the left. It's supposed to be a, an atheist convention that critiques some of the right-wing religious elements. Uh, it's supposed to be critiquing religion, and they put someone there that all they do is critique the left. It's, it's fucked, you know? So in this regard, you know, I... I agree with Steve Shives on some of the things that he's saying about Sargon. I, I think Sargon is a pile of garbage. I don't, 
he, he's someone I can't even watch. I, you know, I, like I've said, there are a number of people that I watch that I disagree with. It's important to look at viewpoints that I disagree with to make sure I keep myself in check. Sargon, you don't get shit out of anything that he says. There's nothing to learn out of the shit that he says. Unless you're, you're so clueless you haven't known about what some of, the, some of the elements of the left have been like. And if you're that clueless about it, I guess you might be able to learn something. But, you know, you can learn about as much from him as you can bearing. Bearing, I gave up on. I see no point in watching his material anymore. Particularly, the main thing that the, the final straw for me was his video about how he's not going, he's going to vote against gay marriage because of a slippery slope argument. Yeah, fuck that shit. I see no point in in supporting someone like that or even looking at their material when they show that they. They don't care about looking at anything in any sort of balanced way. It's just the bullying kind of mindset. I don't give fucking give a shit about that kind of person. I, I'm not going to give bullies the attention. And that's what people like Bering and Sargon are. They are internet bullies. You can thumbs this down all you fucking want, but the truth is known. And, and I know that... that bullies cause drama and lots of people like drama and you don't want to see the drama go away fine whatever you know go ahead and give give this a thumbs down it's fine it's not going to change my views it's not going to suddenly make me look at a bully as not really a bully it's not going to make me look at rush limba any differently it's not going to make me look at look at those who prop up the right wing in order to show that they're against the left wing, it's, it's not going to make me look at those people any better. Okay, and Dave Rubin, Dave Rubin doesn't, now see, him I can watch. I may not agree with him, and I may think his, his, his methods are kind of messed, but Dave Rubin is not a bully. But he certainly props up the right and doesn't really argue anything for the left. He's pretty much a libertarian or a classical liberal, which is pretty much a right-wing kind of position. And I know, oh, right-wing, left-wing, those things, those labels, they don't do much good anymore. They don't do as much good as they used to. But if you're, if you're saying, making a general statement, you're trying to say it quickly, you want to put, there are, there are categories out there, yeah, Dave Rubin is is either a, a libertarian or a classical liberal. I mean, someone like Sticks Hexenhammer 666 is totally honest about his positions. He he covers exactly why he believes what he believes. He's thorough. He doesn't pretend to be on the left. I can respect him. That's one of the big reasons why I respect him because he's so honest. He's honest about what his positions are. He's honest about who he is. He's just an honest person. I think Stix, Stix Hexenhammer 666 is probably one of the most honest people on this entire platform, even though I disagree with him. So, you know, Dave Rubin, I, I again, you know, I, I can still watch Dave Rubin. I can't watch Sargon. And I can't watch Bering anymore. I can't watch, I cannot watch Bullies doing this shit. I, I, I can't support it. I can't condone it. And there really isn't anything to stop them. There's, there is nothing that can stop them. Except for, you know, channel bans and things like that. You know, channel uh, terminations and stuff. And I don't want to see that happen. So, I just generally try to ignore their stuff. Now, I'll put Bering above Sargon. Because I don't see, I mean, Bering has some view, messed up viewpoints, but he's not a full-fledged misogynist like Sargon is. Bering has his issues like that, but I, I'm sorry, Sargon is a misogynistic pile of garbage. Garbage. He is a garbage person. And yes, I am repeating some of the lines from Anita Sarkeesian. Because sometimes, once in a blue moon, some of these people that you don't like are right. I guess that's all I've got to say for now.